hear the growling and you think you hear it all around you. And that's because it is all around you. Oh. Rushing out from the darkness of the, uh, the cave, hidden behind stalagmites, are these pale-faced uh, villagers. Their eyes are gaunt. Their faces white as snow. Their clothes are dirty. Their hands, um, their, their fingers are a little bit elongated like claws. And they're rushing at you. And because you took a defensive posture, they're rushing all at you, Alzheim. What do you do? I will... Oh, specifically, there's three of them. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> well. They're all around you, all three of them. Yes. <laughs> wow. I trust that my companions know how to take care of themselves. So I will... Well, first of all, I will cry out, uh, have two in his enemies. And hopefully, I, for some reason, I think that my companions <laughs> can't see what's going on because that's just what we do in the military. And I will swing my halberd in a wide arc, hoping to catch all three of them. Okay, roll hack and slash. Does it get one of these bonuses? Uh, strength. Nine. Nine. Okay, so that is usually damage, and then enemy takes attack against you. Okay, awesome. Does uh, this go ahead plus... and deal your damage? Okay, so that's uh, D ten plus three. Yep. Nine. Nine. Okay. So. All right. So you're you swing your halberd in a wide arc and it hits one of the ghouls and it just stops at it you expect it and you are used to the blade just chopping through yeah. something about these bodies just keep them keeps them a little bit more uh, uh, stalwart and blade stops in this mm. allowing an opportunity to the for the other two ghouls to run and slash at you oh, no. dealing four damage their total? claws um yeah four damage total their claws are Thin and sharp, and they pierce through your armor. So it's one piercing if you have any armor. Uh, I have armor three. Armor three. Uh, okay, so then it's reduced by two. Does that affect my stalactite damage as well? Uh, da, da, da. Uh, I guess. Uh, let's say no, okay. since that was like more crushing. Okay. Um, so okay. I take two so instead of. Uh... It's two instead of four. Okay. Yes. Um, Are these creatures undead? They look like undead. Let's go to light next. Um, the the ghouls have uh, crashed upon uh, Alzim. One of them stays to kind of get at him. The other one is rushing towards you after this combo attack. Okay, I'm going to shout Alzim and pull the cloth that hides my own halberd off. Um, it is an ancient uh, dark metal um, haft uh, leads up to uh, the, the spear point and a uh, crescent moon uh, hook is um, the, the blade of, of the, the halberd. And uh, it is huge. Looked very small on the back of Alzim, but he is um, a big man. Quite a big, a big man. Yeah. Oh, so this is the so this is the first reveal. There's like yeah. an anime moment where yep. like the whole it, screen it, shines like, off. It's just the weapon. Yeah, and it's You're like oh, the cloth the was like wrapped around yeah. all the way, and somehow I could just whoosh, whoosh, and off. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and then with a cry, I I swing it forth in a giant. Downward cut towards the one charging towards me. Got it. That sounds like hack and slash. Nice. Oh, right. This is plus strength. That's right. And that is a 10. All right. So you can deal your damage or you can take an attack on you and to get plus 1d6. I'm going to take the plus d6 damage and take the attack for I am ferociously anxious to get to my friend's aid. Measly six points of damage. Okay. Uh, the ghoul, um, you slam into it with the halberd, and it doesn't seem to feel the pain and slides along the blade, leaving its entrails behind with it and stabs at you for one damage, piercing one. 
One damage piercing one. Okay, I have two armor, so, so I take armor. nothing. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, blows are slide off of my once clean metal scale armor. <laughs> Led the ghouls seem to be ignoring you for some reason. Hmm. Um, what do you do? <coughs> He's um, too spooky. I'm yeah, apparently. <laughs> so I'm going to um I shall grab my holy symbol, which is a, a little like a sunburst, and I hold it aloft and I pray to my God. Pray um fervently for his light to shine down upon these ghouls and to burn them. Um, I'm trying to turn the undead. That is my Got it. Go ahead and roll it. Um, and what did you say the uh, sun god's name was? Sun god's name is Helianthus. Helianthus. Yep. The Latin name for a sunflower. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that's right. He is a great dwarven god, but knows how to be a gentle lover when necessary. Mm-hmm. All right. Go ahead and roll it. Uh, Beautiful. Nice. There is 12. Nice I, 12. These dice are freaking I don't lie. know what that means, so why don't you go ahead and read it for me? Yeah. So, <laughs> on a 7+, plus, so long as you continue to pray, no undead may come within reach. On a 10+, plus, you also momentarily daze intelligent undead and cause mindless undead to flee. Ooh. Got it. So, the mindless undead immediately start to flee for um, both Alzim and uh, Light, who have kind of gotten them undead on their blade they ignore the pain and more of their bodies are ripped out as they immediately try and run from the light okay. what do you get uh, and and as this happens the holy symbol uh glows with a bright radiance like daylight filling the cavern mm. awesome um, and it also burns it burns my hand wow. uh, along with the light you smell mm. sizzling Ooh. sizzling flesh mm. um what do you guys do so when i see the light and the fleeing of the ghouls i will say the Ongoing prayer, all praise to the Son of Man. And do we see them like fleeing under <laughs> to different tunnels, like they split up, or did they come from one place? Uh, they're coming from one place. This tunnel, this cave is really like one direction. Mm. It's just there's a lot of stalagmites and stalactites. That's probably how they were able to hide away. Excellent. Your powers are fantastic. This will allow us to overcome the enemy easily. We must find the victims quickly. Ghouls are known to eat their victims, and their hunger is never sated. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, we, I will give chase. As as my ghoul is uh, pulling itself, as it pulls itself off my halberd, I would like to use my hooked blade to <sighs> shove it past, turn, and then cut off its legs. Sweet, roll me hack and slash. This time, let me see if I can add my damage <laughs> correctly. <laughs> Uh, that is only a six. So I don't uh, think ooh, I a six means I, think I, I get hit. A GM move. I thought you were going to uh, put his entrails uh, and get followed uh, and tested if you get it. Okay, so no need to run. We'll follow this. <laughs> <laughs> you try and do this fancy move, this twist to this turn, but the ghoul, um, for some reason, in its extra fortitude and uh, it's this inhuman strength, you do manage to hook it. But it's running with such ferocity that your blade is pulled away from your hands. <laughs> and it's no. running and more like crawling on the ground with your <laughs> spear, you know, dragged behind it. Okay. Um, other piece of news here. Aggression no! <laughs> breaks the effects of turn undead. Oh. So if we attack them, then they will stop being turned. Okay. Is that right. presumably undead? Or is it it cool? doesn't say. It turns around and... Pulls out, uh, pulls out it's Light's really spear <laughs> from its body, r- ripping out more entrails. Wow. And is it taking any damage from any of this, or does it just cosmetic? Oh, it should take some damage. Okay. Right now, ten. Ghouls don't have any special like you have to stab in the head type of attacks, right? Um, and it swings at you, Lead, for creating that light. Ah, okay. With the halberd? Swings yeah. past Oh, me. wow. Yeah. Cool. Man. Oh, this is oh, awesome. Surprised a, it can lift it. It's, it's got reach. It's got superhuman strength. I guess I will attempt All to right. uh, turn the halberd strike away with my staff. 
Got it. Sounds like Ooh. defy danger with dex. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is seven minus one is six. Ooh, okay. So the hooks got you. So you're going to take yeah. one point of damage. Okay. And you've been hooked, and you <laughs> have been taken off of your feet. Uh, Azim, <laughs> your friend, or your recently new companion, has just gotten hooked. What do you do? <sighs> It's one ghoul. Yeah, the other two have been <laughs> running. I will continue to give chase because clearly the dwarf and my friend are formidable opponents and one ghoul is nothing compared to two ghouls about to go eat some children and women. Got it. The two ghouls are running and you actually corner them in a piece of the cave. Mm. They ran in a direct line when the curve of the cave <laughs> happened and they're currently cowering in fear mm. of the light. But the cave continues. Yeah, the cave continues to the right. Azim is not greatly familiar with the effects of turning. Uh, do, can we say whether or not Azim has any background in like having worked with clerics before? Well, it's up to you. Because like, if Azim knows that attacking a turned creature will cause it to reactivate, then he will not... Like, He's, he's not that stupid, right? Like, He, he knows tactics. So if, it, if he is able to be aware of that, he will not attack them. Because it's more important to get to the prisoners. Okay. Um, all right. Sweet. So you're just gonna stare at the ghouls. Oh, we'll run past them. Run further past into them. The cave. Further into the cave. All right. Led. Because there's only one way to go, right? So if yeah, anyone came yeah. in this cave, they would have come this way as well. Yeah. Yeah. Led. You are on the ground of the ghouls standing above you with this mean crescent blade. What do you do? Uh, I am going to attempt to. What am I going to do? Uh. I've still got my. I've managed to hang on to my staff as I landed staff. on the ground. Yes. Um, so what I think I'm going to try and do is just get him right in the gut and knock him off his feet. Got it. Um, that sounds like a hack and slash, but don't add strength because you're on the ground. Okay. Uh, there is eight. Eight. Awesome. Um, so uh, what was it that you wanted to do? Um, I want to like just get him right in the gut and push him over. Got it. So Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Um, but because you rolled an eight, there's a six for damage. Uh, this and you're on the ground. It's very hard to defend yourself at the same time. Mm -hmm. The ghoul gets at you for three damage. Okay. Um, uh, how much damage do the ghoul? Six. Six. Okay. Worth it. That's enough. The ghoul is knocked back and falls on a stalagmite and pierces its head. Oof. It stops moving. Light, your house, your <coughs> big ass spear just got stolen. Yes. By a ghoul, turned on lead, but lead, uh, knocked lead down. But lead pushed the ghoul back onto a stalagmite and burst his head open on it. Oh, so it's dead. Yeah, it's yeah. dead. What do you do? Oh, I grab the halberd. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Alzim is right <laughs> deeper into the cave. No with your leg source. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. We, maybe we should have Led? lit a torch. Led? I, I, I spent three years in caves, but I had light sources. I cannot see anything. Okay, Can listen. you call out to me with your voice? Follow, here, follow I, me. Yes. I'm a dwarf. Where? We know how caves work. Where? Where is my halberd? I, it's, I, I cannot... I is it? Can I can I see in the dark or is that are we gonna? <laughs> so you got low light vision. Low light vision. So okay, this is definitely like dark dark. Yeah. Um. Anyway, Our, I yeah, I, yeah, I feel around and adventure. I get it, and I hand it to you. Yes. Thank. Thank you. Do you have the roll? Thank you. Got two. You grab the blade and your left <laughs> pinky is cut off. Um. So when you approach the big spear, the halberd. Are mm -hmm. we calling it a halberd? It's a. It's a, a hal. It's a halberd. You know, it has the spear archetype, but for all intents and purposes, with the things I've put onto it for the fighter's signature weapon, it's a halberd. Halberd. Okay, yep. awesome. We, we uh, could give it a cool name, but I decided that Light would not be the type of person to name his own weapon. Awesome. So when you approach the halberd and you get close to the body of the, what you assume is a ghoul, something is a little off. Mm -hmm. um, you feel heat coming off of the ghoul. Heat coming off the ghoul. Like... You know, it's like, you know, there was warm blood on the weapon. Warm blood is 
pouring out of the, the body. Hmm. But they turned like undead. That doesn't make any sense. This is what I what I as a Hold parent. on, Light. This isn't this doesn't feel right. Are you feeling the body? I can't see anything. So yeah, I come down know. here. Look, it's I look I like, feel I'm this body in the with darkness. Me. Yeah. It's warm. Yes, it, it's cool blood is warm like gross. like living creatures. Oh. What is What have we done? Ugh. Let's see what Alzim is up to. You're <laughs> rushing through the cave, the yes. only source of light. You passed by the two ghouls cowering in the corner. Uh, you're just turn rushing the past and um, you hear a chanting from uh, deeper in the cave. Is it discernible chanting of any kind? Is it blasphemous um, chanting? Darkness, darkness. We uh, <laughs> it's it's a. Uh, in the dark of the dark. It, they're repeating <laughs> two phrases. Mm. The body is free, the soul is yours. The body is free, the soul is yours. Hmm. Seems nice. I will move with more stealth to try to come upon them with surprise. With this glowing orb at the center of your armor. My strategic understanding may be slightly compromised by forgetting that he has a light source. Okay, so you get a little bit closer. It's like when I never turn on the lights of my car and then um, I get away from the wall. It's like, why is it so dark? The cave kind of opens up into a, a larger cavern, and you can see what is obviously the missing people. A handful of children and young women standing at the edge of this cave with um, an altar in the middle, and a young woman uh, sit, uh, laying down on her back. There are three people in dark colored robes um, standing uh, above her, um, chanting, the body is free, the soul is yours. Near her, you see um, these giant branches, or not branches, these giant roots, as if from a huge tree filling the room, the side of the room. And they're continually chanting, the body is free, the soul is yours. Body is free, the soul is yours. What do you do? I want to see <clears throat> if people who have been brought here, do they appear to be drugged? Are they here? Do they are they shackled? Oh, they and... totally look drugged. Okay. They kind of have that. You recognize it because you feel empathy with them because okay. it, it seems like they're under the same effects of the drug that you were on just previously. How many are there? Uh, there's about five of them. Six total with the woman on the altar. So the one. And how many of the bad guys? There's three of them. Is there anything about what I would see in this part of the ritual that would allow me to have any understanding that these humans are being turned into ghouls? Uh, that sounds like discern realities. Yes, please. roll 2d6 plus wisdom. Six. Six. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, you go and get a closer look. And as you peer over the stalagmite you were hiding behind... The light the, of the ancient the light sun! of the stone <laughs> cascades over it. And one of we, the... We, like, see this from their view, and there's this huge yeah. guy behind... Them. And it's because my light is here. I'm just a silhouette, right? They can't yeah. see any features. <laughs> it's just a glowing, like, silhouette black with, like, this bright light shining in their eyes. The cultists turn their head, or one of the cultists sees light, looks up, and goes, ah, ah, There's someone here! Uh, 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 you all! Attack! And um, the two cultists, of course, turn their head, but the five innocent children and women turn their heads slowly and mechanically towards you, and they just start running full sprint at you. Do they look ghoulish? Not at all. By the way, does it seem like these are the all of the ones who were missing? Yep. You see a woman. Uh, okay, so there was... Yeah, let's say Haritha is one of the five rushing at you, which sure. are... Um, I said she had red hair mm. and eyes of blue ocean. Well, those eyes, the color of ocean, are locked onto you, and her hair is flowing behind her because she's sprinting at you full speed. 
And there's some distance away, right? Like I have yeah, a you have rounds. a moment to like. I will something. turn and run as quickly as I can back to my companions, yelling, "Silent Green is people! Silent Green is people!" <laughs> Got it. Back <laughs> to you guys. Okay. Um, or contextually appropriate words to that effect. <laughs> They're people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So can I can I figure out based on my like religious knowledge and understanding of the the way the undead work and my experience with turning like what is wrong with the school? Spout lore. Go ahead and roll two d six plus int. Plus mm-hmm. int. Come on, Peter. <laughs> Not with there's the a roll there's like a six. That. Oh, oh no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's go for that discern realities. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you were? Okay, it's important. All right. Viewers, in Dungeon World, it's very important for there to be a dialogue of what you intend to do and what's understood. So, mm, okay. you were intending to look closely and observe the situation more clearly. Exactly. But when you said you wanted to. Think oh, about based on my knowledge. Yeah. knowledge about something. Okay. Okay. So you more of want to take a closer look at the ghoul yeah, to like get this more is more of like I'm doing it. a bit of an autopsy based on like comparing this to what I know about ghouls. Also, I can't see. Okay. Roll to some reality. Okay. I'll same or if we use the same roll, it would be an sure. eight. Sure. Okay. Uh, that means you get uh, one question. One question. Uh, what happened here recently? Um, got it. Um, okay, sweet. I can use that. Uh, all right. So the body is obviously, uh, a human and it was living. It was not undead, but there was some undead aspect to it. What you can only understand is something made this undead without killing it. Oh. Probably by removing the soul. Okay. Uh, I convey this to light. They... They created this creature. It is undead, but they have not killed it. How how does that even happen? I'm calling like I see him. You say the part about the soul? Yeah, they they probably pulled out its soul. Maybe something ate it? Can can you put a soul back into a body once it's been pulled out? Uh, That's a really good question. Yeah, I mean, if you can take it out, you can probably put it back in, right? I wouldn't know. I'm not a cleric. You know, let's say you can't, because that would make this murder. And, <laughs> and at that point, <laughs> now Zim runs around the corner. Well, you have a habit. <laughs> murder is the only answer to every problem. Yeah, that sounds like a good time for Al Zim to run around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> for oh. our viewers who may not be steeped in Western American pop culture, the yelling of Southern Korean's people is meant to imply that he is beginning to realize that these ghouls may actually be living beings who have been compromised, and that his allies should stop killing them because it would be murder. And so, yes, he comes out and, like, the light suddenly floods the cavern, <gasps> allowing my compatriots to realize that Alzim has returned. Well, he could be also, like, someone with a torch, but realizes, oh, it's Alzim. I recognize that uh, silhouette anywhere. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and he just, like, we need to stop killing the ghouls. I think they are people who have been compromised. Led says Please. they don't Seeing have the any body souls. on the ground. It's like, oy vey. <laughs> or the trollless Alzim version of oy vey. <laughs> oh no, we've already killed one. We need to stop killing them. You start to hear the pitter patter. Oh, and by the way, in the they're coming. Do we. Do we run? Do we stand and We need to wait. subdue them. If he turns them again and they run, then we could get the leader. Perhaps yes. they can tell us what we mm. should do from Easy there. peasy. Yes. Okay. Your power should be more than enough to overcome these women and children <laughs> monsters. Okay. I take on power stance and ready myself for them to come around the corner. Awesome. They rush around the corner. All right. I hold up my holy sigil. And attempt to turn these undead. Got it. Go for it. Uh, that is a Ooh. seven. Uh, Are they actually undead? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is. Um, oh, grass. Well, it's it's like, what happens on a seven through? Uh, as long as I pray and brandish my holy symbol, no undead may come within reach. The uh, <laughs> so you raise your holy symbol and light cascades around you, 
uh, your hand burns from the symbol. It hurts because you just did this mm-hmm. before. They still rush at you. Um, uh, Alzim. I don't think these are undead. They're coming towards you. What do you do? I So first of all, in the game mechanics, is it two things that came up? Are there circumstantial things like disadvantage? Like, for example, earlier we did the autopsy with <clears throat> a light. Like, does the game have anything mechanically that cares about that? There's no mechanical, like, disadvantage okay. or anything like that. Um, however, what I will do sometimes okay. is say, roll this and don't add a stat. Gotcha. Okay, uh, mm-hmm. is subdual a possibility? Um, it's, I think it's called stun damage. Yeah. It's a very specific type yeah, of Yeah, like, I'm wondering if there's any way to, like, subdue an so, opponent without murdering them. Great part about Dungeon World is that damage is not a part of the weapon. No. So you don't have to use your weapons. Right. Uh, I feel that I should be able to grab and subdue at least two children at a time. After all, they're simply tiny human younglings. Like, I could put them uh, inside a little egg basket. And for the sake of off. mechanics, it's two women and three children. Uh, well, I think I will start with the women because they are larger, and I feel like the children would be easier for my smaller companions to handle. Okay, um, go ahead and roll so hack and slash. I will try to grab these two women. Oh, uh... Wait, you're going for the women? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, hack and slash is the closest. Alzheim is yep. a lonely troll. No, not, not at all bothered by these human women with their <laughs> bare feet and their <laughs> innocent small noses. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, lack of warts. And Real troll okay. women yeah, okay. have something on their feet? Three. Ooh. Apparently Uh-oh. these women are a lot more <laughs> vicious than he had given them credit for. So, in your attempt to not harm these, uh, you were going for the children, right? The women. The women. In your attempt I to not they could handle this harm part. these children. Women. Uh, women. <laughs> These In child the- women. Oh no, <laughs> child brides, even worse. <laughs> you uh, you hold back a little too much, and they easily overpower you through some arcane strength. Oh no, are we all in the pile on the ground just writhing about? And yeah, they pull you to the ground, and they're oh, no. they're 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 um, I don't uh, yeah, they're punching you in the face. <laughs> oh, no. oh, it's just take one damage oh. down to zero. Oh. Uh, light, the children are coming at you. What do you do? <laughs> children! Oh, God. Uh, 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 I feel like my spear is too huge. Too many barbs. Whoever is editing this has to edit a Images spear of sequence into the video. Melons smashing. I, uh, I put my spear away and I... There are three of them. Yeah. I could probably take two. I leave the third to you. <laughs> Led, prove yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm going for the cat scoop. Got it. Yep. Uh, roll hack and slash. Okay. I hope you have better luck than that. My I. goal is to pick them up and hold them as my hand, arms are already scarred from the scratching of many beasts and cannot be further damaged by small creatures. Got it. Yep. 2d6 plus 10. That is a 9. That's a 9. Okay, so you managed to grab them, lift them up, but their hands are scratching at you. Go ahead and take 5 damage. Woo-hoo! They're piercing deep into oh, Through my armor, it hurts. Okay. Now, quick question. Yep. Uh, when we added our health, it's your full constitution Ooh. score, right? That's Not right. your modifier. Yeah. Sweet. Yep. I've got it's so a, much help. I this question comes up every time. Yep. It's the one thing that uses constitution score mm-hmm. rather nice. than the modifier. Ouch. So I take three points of actual damage. Yep. Unless do the children the have hell? piercing? Okay. No. So I knew the all right, lead. What do you do? Okay, um, I'm seeing how much trouble. Oh, one child's <laughs> coming at you. Yeah, that too. So I'm seeing <laughs> how much trouble my troll friend is having, how much trouble my human friend is having, how much taller both of them are than I am. This human <laughs> child is about the same height. Yeah, about as me. the same size. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna take my even, staff even and try honest. and bonk him on the head. <laughs> Go <Thanks>. for it. <laughs> That's much more fair. All right, so you're bopping the kid on the head. Bopping the kid on the head. I rolled myself. A nine plus one is ten. 
Got it. Okay, so the kid is Bops. Um, <coughs> uh, 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 let's see, it takes damage, but, um, or you rolled less than a 10, so you should be attacked back. Um, no, I rolled 10 exactly. Oh, you rolled 10 exactly? So oh, nine sorry, plus I thought you said strength. 9. Okay, yeah, so awesome. You bop the kid on the head, and it go- he goes down. Okay. He is asleep. Taking a nap. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, let's go back to Alzim. You are on the ground. Two ladies are at you. They're I am so glad you. that in the throes of combat, I am not able to observe the easy success of my compatriot. Uh, <laughs> well, I believe that in a grappling situation with much smaller individuals, the correct thing is to use your body's mass to hold one person beneath you while using the appropriate juggler hold on the other until they... Go to sleep. Got it. Go ahead and roll uh, 2d6 plus strength. And my die has moved to the other side of the floor. Yeah, got back when your hands yeah, are geez. as big as hams, yes. the appropriate jugular hold looks like one thumb <laughs> <laughs> pushing. Yeah. Compromise the women. <laughs> like, in like, between pinky and ring finger, one yep. neck, and then... <laughs> yeah, I should be able to get like three of them at once, right? <laughs> Just a classic <laughs> juggling move. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. nice. That's a 10 with my strength ball. <laughs> okay, let's say that's successful, and oh, the one under God. you is crushed under Take the weight down. and is put to sleep. Okay. <laughs> we, keep, we keep waiting <laughs> for it. Yeah. Crushed under the uh, weight. Light, you got two kids on one on each arm. How are you going to deal with them? You're the babysitter. Drop ah. the heads. Do this. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. The classic. Well, two to six plus strength. <coughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, that is an 11. Awesome. Oh. All right, let's just say you knock him asleep. Nice. Choker. Don't shake the baby. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not an alternative. And then you also have a cleric who can just, you know. Yeah. Right. You know, pinch. Not yeah. if their heads are like smashed melons. I put the kids down. All right. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, uh, lead, it looks like there's a lot of hurt children. So oh, jeez, all right. Happening. I was gonna, oh. Uh, Alzin, you're just gonna have to, this is, I can't write this one off as dwarven trickery. I'm gonna, By the way, aren't I still trying to subdue this other woman? Yeah, oh, I'm, still yeah I'm, still, <laughs> I'm still wrestling with some women down there. So you can do your thing, I'm okay. not watching. Okay. Um, as long as you're wrestling, yeah, I'm gonna just like start trying to heal these kids, like help them out a little bit. Okay. Um, I should tie them up first. A uh, cure light wounds uh, check. Okay. For all of them. Just for do one, one for all. One for all. Okay. Since they're not like seriously hurt. Uh, cool. There is eight, nine, ten. Man. Awesome. Been yeah, you successfully there. do it, and you also, I think, you heal <laughs> the enchantment on them as well. Ooh. Oh, okay. Cool. Now, right. they're, they're now you have little kids yeah. who are scared Alzine, without their parents. You got one more woman on They're here. sleeping right now. Gosh darn it. This was not supposed to be so hard. Nice. Hey, 12. Hey. Well, <laughs> all right. You can easily <laughs> grapple that woman away. It is uh, like in the ancient writings of the troll master Fezzik. It is very different when you're fighting multiple people. Hmm. Also, Fezzik was renowned for the way that humans, or human women, flock towards him. It is true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, sweet. So, um, I, I'd say we can roll that um, Care Light Women's roll forward to the other two women that you were dealing with. Okay. And that those two are also healed of their enchantment, and they're okay. all sleeping it off in this cave. Yes. They will, they will be all right. When they wake up, they will have splitting headaches and no memory of what has happened here. Thank goodness. The horror would be too much for such young and fragile minds to take. But there is still danger further along in the cave. There are cultists. I am certain that these ghouls must have once been women and children just like these who have just been compromised for so long. We determined that their souls have been ripped out. I did hear them chanting, the body is free, the soul is yours. Hmm. Or something like that. Well, we should put an end to those who would do this to such 
innocent, adorable warthogs. I know just how to do it. They're okay. They're pick up my halberd. Small, yeah. squishy, and a little <laughs> gross. Right. By the way, how does how does turn and dead last like effectively the scene? It doesn't it say. It doesn't anything. say. Okay. So it says until he stops praying. So like, no, actually, bro, if he says a line, should we interrupt him? Yeah, like the, the oh, girls have you, to come run. Yeah, we hold your ghost. holy <laughs> symbol aloft. <laughs> yeah. As long oh. as you continue to pray and brandish your holy symbol, oh, I think it's over. I think it's over. All right. Yeah, it's like that Moses thing where he had to get his buddies to hold his arms up because he's like, I'm too lazy and tired to keep this staff up. It's like, boy, God's rules are really irksome. Like, you right. have just I think put it on the sand and go home and get some bread. to come up. <laughs> uh, the ghouls are charging. They're charging. Back at you. And they're heading right towards lead, the source of the light. Oh, no. They're about to approach you. I'm gonna jump in his way. I am awesome. right there by the entryway where I just come through, and I have been hungry to use my halberd again. Oh, okay. uh, I should have first dibs. Light spoke first, oh, so fair, I'll let light fair. make the defend roll. Okay. <laughs> These may be innocents as well, but you cannot take him. I push him back. I'm just gonna meet their charge with my own. Got it. Go ahead and roll uh, 2d6 plus con. So if I'm meeting their charge with my own, would that be more of a strength thing? Uh, so you're thinking of def like doing a defy danger. I saw this as defend because you defend because they're attacking lead. And you're defending me. Okay. Yeah, you're like you, putting you your flesh in the way. Like you're okay. Rolling yep. That. In the yeah. Way. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Mm, mm. That is a seven. Seven, so you get to hold one. So you get to redirect an attack from the thing you you defend to yourself. I'll um, do that. And that's, yep. Okay. It's going to do four piercing one. Four piercing one. All you right. go so in I the way, 30. and their slashing hands go right towards your neck, uh, creating a small gash. And blood <gasps> is flowing from the wound. Uh, like these, becomes a goal. I've had for worse. <laughs> these this charge <laughs> done. Um, uh, Alzim, you stand at the ready, ready, uh, jumping out at the call to action. I will cut down the second goal that has not been done. Uh, got him. The hack and slash. Oh no! <laughs> that is only a. So seven. Seven. Right? You got a plus two. Seven. Eight. Okay. Eight. 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 All right. So that's enough. That's Go ahead and deal with it. You have a plus damage. three strength? No, but uh, the halberd is a plus one by itself. Oh, is you that... have a real halberd. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's to attack? Right. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's a plus one damage. Never mind. So it's just plus two. Oh, so okay. that's a seven. Sorry. Seven. seven okay. Five. You still get... You deal damage, and the enemy makes an attack against you. Yep. Uh, so you take six... Uh, six with one piercing. Oof. Is that... Then it just ignores one ignore them. So it becomes uh three. Okay. No, four. Gotcha. <clears throat> that will be nine Ooh. plus three, twelve damage. Twelve. Okay, that instantly kills the ghoul. Oh. Must control troll rage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Led, there's one ghoul left. It is right on um, a light, uh, almost kind of... We're sort of like grabbing him. Wrestling. Yeah, yeah I'm going to try and... So I've got staff in hand. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I will try and, like, while light has it distracted and they're sort of grappling, I'm just going to try and come in from the back and just lay one down. Okay, got it. Light's, like, growling as he's holding <laughs> It's probably growling back. We're having a growl off. Go ahead and roll hack slash. All right. Uh, oh, there it is. Nice. Yes. And Ten beautiful. dice. Okay, go ahead and roll damage. Uh, do you want to take damage and deal an extra d6? Uh, at this point, I don't think so. I think they've taken plenty of damage. <laughs> Got it. Yep. Uh, so there's four damage. Four damage is enough to knock it down. You hit it squarely in the back, and it falls to the ground. Right. Broke its spine. Oh, <sighs> good hold, Light. Are you all right? Nice, nice strike, Lead. I didn't know you had it in you. Well, we must. Are we? So, are, are we all? Are we all all right? How do you? How do you feel? We're a little bit bruised up. Uh, <clears throat> I feel that justice has not yet been done. Well, Quick, 
Give me a sec. Chamber. <laughs> yes. How how injured are you? Yeah. How injured is everybody? Uh, it would I've only seem taken that six points of damage. Oh, okay. I've taken ten. I think I've not been subtracting my. Damage, <laughs> I and don't know what that means. <laughs> I was like, so I started at twenty eight, and I'm down to sixteen now. Which okay. In intro you, years is fine. Do you have armor, James? I have yeah, armor three. Armor. Okay. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna do it to myself then. So I, uh, lay hands upon myself. And cure my own light wounds. Yeah, how does that work? Does this mean that if you lay hands on yourself, then on a 7 to 9, you're not healed at all? Uh, or is the cleric one different than the paladin one? Cleric. Hmm. Um, Clerics cast don't a spell. Get lay on hands. I yeah, think it's, a, it's just about a spell. Oh, okay. Cure light wounds. Oh, gotcha. Um, lay on hands is the paladin thing. Let's take a look at that. What's your name to that? Lay on hands. When you touch someone, skin to skin, and pray for their well-being. 10 plus, deal 1d8. 7, 9. They are healed, but the damage or disease is transferred to you. I don't think you can do it on yourself. Yeah, so because it's the way it's worded, it sounds like you just can't heal yourself. Yeah, that's just okay. heal someone else. Alright, that seems fair. Seems like I should ask for you to heal me, and then I can heal you. Okay. But uh, that could backfire, because Paladin healing is not nearly as good as Cleric healing. But yeah, let's start with that. Why don't I have... You're fine, right? Oh, it's it's but a scratch. It will join the many other scars over right. here. It's okay. hard to tell if you're wounded, my friend. Whereas you're, you're... Lead has a, a big... <laughs> yeah, big gash along one arm and is not covered in scars. Like, clearly it's not used to this sort of thing. All right, let me have you heal me first. Okay. Um, I shall do that. So here I roll. Uh, that is six, seven, eight. Is my roll. Uh, so... Either I draw unwelcome attention, um, my casting distances me from my deity, so I take minus one on going, or I lose a spell. Um, I guess I choose one. Ooh, interesting. Um, do you but have a good today, right? Do you have a good spot or unwelcome attention? I could do something. Is that what? Is that the way you want to go? Uh, it's up to you. It's your choice. Okay, I'll take the minus one on going. <laughs> okay. Okay. Does the minus one I ongoing go away at the end of the day? Uh, next time I commute, so I have to just spend an hour. Yeah. Okay. What's the healing amount? Uh, it is 1d8. Uh -oh. Three. Oh, no. Sort of measly. Not a lot of healing. Not a lot of oh. healing. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that one was my fault. Mm. That's so swinging. 1d8 is such a wild... Yeah, right? Linear wow. rolls are... All right, I want to have to heal you. Okay. Let's see how this goes. On a 10 or better, you're healed 1d8. If it's a 7 or 9, you're healed, but I take the damage instead. So, <clears throat> that's a charisma. That is a 10. Damn, son. Perfect. Just barely made it, so I heal you for 1d8. You're healed for 7. Nice. Heck yes. Thank you. It's important that we servants of the sun work together. So, yeah. do you notice anything when he heals you? Uh, so you definitely notice that, like, my flesh sizzles and pops. Mm. Um, I'd say suspicion would arise, but yeah. because you guys are underground, it's hard to tell the direction. <laughs> yeah. You can't see the sun. We've, We've got, got a super bright light Yeah, source. it all just, like, like, comes down the, the shaft. Yeah, there's... It's it's a little bit weird, but it's like I don't know. Spell casting is kind of odd. Sometimes you lose the spell. Sometimes bad things happen. Like it's very obvious that the gods are fickle, and mm. sometimes strange effects. Occur. I'd say um, there's a time to notice it. Yeah. That time is not now. Yep. Okay. Let's. It'll be another time where it becomes more important. And we'll say the reason that I've got the so minus one is that my the burn day. this time is particularly bad. That's right. Uh, and so like just like the act of holding wrong. my. Ooh, perhaps uh, your god does not like that you're healing a god of... Maybe partway through you drop it. Oh, yeah. Wait. Ah, I cry out. It says minus one ongoing? Yep. Yeah. Until That's the next for break. everything. That's for every spell I cast. Oh, is it just is spells? It, it's yeah, just, it's just, just spells. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. oh, that's much better. Because otherwise okay. it'd be horrible, right? Usually they say what it is. Yeah, it's minus, minus one, one ongoing to cast, cast a, spell. a spell. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Much okay. better. Okay, so uh, we have wasted enough time. We... It is good that we prepare ourselves, but we, there are people now who are in danger. Yeah, let us handle these cultists. Okay, awesome. So you rush down through the caves, and when you get to the opening, you don't hear any of the, the, the chanting. Yep. 
You just reach the giant chamber with the sconces lit with torches. The woman on the altar is um, uh, uh, laying um, a lot differently from what you saw before. Before oh. it was kind of like flat, like just a person laying down. Yeah. This one's like, like knocked out. Oh no! Um, you see her hand is clutching something with a silver chain down it, uh, with like a silver chain, and uh, the cultists are gone. Damn it! Oh right, you also now that lead is here, there's all the roots which you recognize. These are the roots that you used to work on back in uh, when you had a clan. These are the roots that helped um, stabilize the new sun. Mm. Sun roots. I want to rush forward and see as to the uh, condition of this woman. Yes, I think that is uh, reasonable. We all uh, agree. Great. So you walk up there and you see Run. that she has yes. a, a wound <laughs> on the side of her head. And her face, her her face is a little pale. Not as pale as the ghouls you saw before, but like mm. she's lost some blood. She's lost a little bit of something near the altar. You can see the root; it's been cut open, and the inner part is glowing slightly green. Ooh, that you're not supposed to do that. That's not good. What do you guys do? <laughs> do you say that out loud? I am yes. very unfamiliar <laughs> with this root thing, so I don't know. Should I touch it? Should I not touch it? Should I taste don't it? Don't touch it. Okay, it's stuff's bad for you. What? Mm. What sort of strange tree is this? Never mind. Um, this is this lead. Is How can you heal her? I can give it a shot. I uh, <coughs> place my hand upon her grimace and roll at a uh, plus two minus one, which gets me to eleven. Nice. Okay, wow. so you are able to heal her wounds. They close up, and the uh, blood, you know, disappears. But as you're healing her the lights cascading into her, you feel a slight emptiness in her. Like, something is missing. Not all of it, but something. Oh, like a, this one... A vessel is half empty. Something... Something is wrong with her. She's missing something. I can only assume that the ritual that they have been performing on the ghouls is, is half completed. So, she's, what, missing half her soul? I don't know, man. <laughs> Can you, <laughs> can you be, be missing half your soul? Can you be a half ghoul? That... Okay, that is something for <laughs> higher <laughs> <authorities. Not> later. <laughs> Where did the cultists go? We gotta make them undo this. Yes. Is, is there, there another way out? sign of where they've gone? Maybe mm -hmm. they accidentally dropped a band-aid or like a Before, broke some a cultist ice. dagger. Yeah. Before we get to that, um, you all hear a clink of something hitting the floor. Jesus and I want this... Any one of you would be great for finding this. But I want it to be random. Can everyone roll a d6? Sure. Love random. There's a one. Six. A little too random. There's a four. Awesome. All right, so it is Alzim that's the closest. You're on the side of the altar where her hand was down, mm -hmm. holding something. As she, since she was healed, her hand opened, and hitting the ground, you see a pendant. You kneel down to get a closer look. You rub the dirt off of it. It looks like it was something ripped off of one of the cultists. Maybe she gained consciousness partway through the ritual. Maybe it was your interruption. You don't know. But what you do know is that this pendant has a symbol. The symbol of the new sun. Oh. And that's where we end for tonight. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh my gosh, my first temptation to cover up evidence. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was like, oh, no matter who it is, there's going to be a great story. Yes. If it's Alzim, that's awesome. If it's lead, that's awesome too. If it's light, that's great. <laughs> What is this? Well, I mean, you would have yeah, recognized, wow. would have recognized <laughs> the symbol. But I'm it's... guessing it's like everywhere. Like everyone sees <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, everyone, like, oh, knows, look, that. everyone the, knows the new sun. The question is, are these things that you can just buy at like the Archie McPhee's? It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, they're just <laughs> everywhere. You know, it's the new sun pendant. Ten got, sun pendants for I, a dozen for a dime. I got it at the airport on my way on. And the, uh, thank you.